Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. My name is Awatif Auni Binti Zawai. My ID number is 2020877466. Hello everyone. My name is Fatimah Zana Binti Sharon Zaidi and my ID number is 2020457888. Assalamualaikum, my name is Anana Shavinta Mahisa and student ID 2020606656 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone My name is Nurul Anis Binti Amran and my student ID is 2020458434 So today, we will do a presentation on topic Law of Logic, the introduction. Logic is a field of study that deals with methods of reasoning and thinking in a very systematic way while Law of Logic presents first principles before reasoning begins. The Law of Logic also a fundamental assumption rule which rationally discuss itself is often considered to be based. The formulation and clarification of such rule have a long tradition in his history of philosophy and logic. However, such classical ideas are often questioned or rejected in more recent developments. There are types of laws that we use when answering questions related to this topic. Each law has its own rules to show the difference between all types and how to apply them correctly based on what the question asks for. So without further ado, let's know some laws of logic. First one, we have double negation. For example, if double negation P, it will be equal to P. And the next one, we have De Morgan's law. In De Morgan's law, the negation is outside from the bracket. So if we negate, the changes will be happen at the symbol. For example, the symbol N will be O and the symbol O will be N. And the next one, we have commutative law. In a commutative law, it will be changes of the positions. The symbol will be not changed. So the next one is associative law. So if we want to use this law, we have to make sure that the symbol N or all the same. Then we can move the bracket. Other than that, we have distributive law. This law is different with associative law. In associative law, we need to make sure that the symbol is same. But in this law, we have to make sure that the symbol is opposite. The next one, we have idem potens law. We use this law when we have the same set. For example, we have P or P or P and P. So it will be equal to P. We continue with the next law. Identity laws, which is when P or F null, or we call contradiction, will get P back, and also P and T null or tautology will get P. Then inverse law, which is when P or not P, we will get T null. When P and not P, will get F null. As for domination laws, P or T null will get T null back. P and F null will get F null back. Uh, between these three laws, uh, I look like same, so uh, be careful to use them. Next, absorption laws. We use this law when P and this P in the same set, but the symbol must be different, which is O N and O, and we will we'll get uh, that the same set as before. Conditional identity law. When we want to change from conditional statement to this statement, which is not P or Q. Contrapositive and biconditional identity law are additional laws only. Sometimes it helps us to solve the question. To understand more about this topic, so let's do some exercise. For example, one, show that P implies with P or Q is tautology using this law of logic. The first step, we have to using the definition of implications, we will get negation P or P or Q. Since we have the same symbol O, 
So we have to use associative law to move P in a one bracket. Next step, negation P or P will get tautology using inverse of law. And the last step is tautology or Q will get tautology using diminution of law. So let's continue to the next question, question 2. Use the laws of logic to show that a not P or not P and Q is a contradiction. So from the statement, we can use De Morgan's law and get not P and not not P and Q. So uh, from that, we can see that it has two not. So we can use double negation law and get not P and P and Q. So next, we can use associative law and get not P and P and Q. Then we can use inverse law and get force and Q. And from that, we can use domination law and get force. So it shows that the statement not P or not P and Q is a contradiction. We proceed to the third question. The question asks us to prove that the left, the left side is logical equivalent to the right side, means not P or not P and Q is logical equivalent to not P and not Q. Usually, we will do from the left side. First, we use the Morgan's law. The negation is outside, so we can use this law. So the symbol will uh, change from O to N. And don't forget to place the negation in front of this not P and Q. We use the Morgan's law again for this back set and we will get not not P or big O because uh, the symbol will change not Q uh, because there is a not not P there we can use double negation law and we will get P because have three different sets and the symbols also different over there over here we can use distributive law so it can get not P and P or not P and not Q. Uh, not P and P will be F null using inverse law. We change the position using competitive law to place F null next to it. And then we use identity law because this set all with F null and we get this set again. And the answer is not P and not Q where we can prove like the question above. Example 4. Simplify the following using laws of logic and state the reasons. Even not in bracket P implies Q or in bracket R implies P. How to solve this question? First, you can apply Conditional identity law at P implies Q and R implies P. So it will become not P or Q and not R or P. Next, apply De Morgan's law at not in bracket not P or Q. It will be P and not Q. And then you can apply two laws here associative law and distributive law and it will become in bracket P or not R or P plus bracket and in bracket not Q or not R or P plus bracket. Next, apply commutative law to rearrange the position so we can see the question more clearly. And after that, apply the important law because there are two similar variables here, P and then apply commutative law again so we can see here that we can apply absorption law and we get the final answer P or not R To summarize what we need to do in order to master the law of logic is to memorize all the laws they are Double negation, De Morgan's law, commutative, associative, distributive, idempotent, identity, inverse, domination, absorption, 
conditional identity, contrapositive, and biconditional identity law. This subtopic is similar to law of set theory. So, we can master both subtopics if we memorize all the laws. One of the ways to memorize the laws is to do many exercises so you will be more familiar with the question on topic law of magic. And lastly, as a student, we use logic all the time when we analyze the facts to address a problem. It also prepares students for life as it equips us with the reasoning skills needed to navigate the sticky situation of life.